Have you ever needed more dirt on your land to do anything in the garden, like fill a raised bed or make a new mound for a hookah culture mound, but you just don't have enough material and you need some dirt? Well, look no farther than your next garden project. Find a new garden project that includes you digging something up, reshaping a piece of land, and use this as the dirt that you need for the other project. Seems pretty simple to me. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Herbstead. I'm Ben. Today's video is going to be really simple. I want to explain to you a mentality that I have here at the Herbstead, which is turning a waste into a win. Here I am in the middle of a project, which you'll see later. It is the uh, transformation of this patch of lawn into something else. And in the midst of all that, what I'm doing is I'm removing some of the topsoil as well as making a trench around the outside perimeter of the patch of land. What that's leaving me with is a ton of dirt. Now this is lawn dirt, and as you know from past discussions as well as probably your own discovery, lawn dirt is usually not that great. It's specifically devoid of the kind of microbiology that we want to have in the soil for a good garden bed. But what it does have is volume. A big deal here is yes, there's a ton of weeds and yes, there's things that will need to be dealt with in here, but this will save me from going to have to buy lots and lots and lots and lots of volume of good soil. All I have to do with it is amend it and work with it over the next year. What is my plan? Well, my plan is to rip up a bunch of dirt. And what is the waste product from that project? Well, it's going to be somewhere I have to stick this dirt on my own land or try to get rid of it. I don't know about you, but trying to get rid of what will be maybe close to a ton of dirt it sounds very difficult. It sounds time consuming. It sounds expensive. And it's not something I want to do. This is my waste product for this project. But in the future, I know there will be the potential of at least a few more raised beds, which means I'll need to fill those raised beds with something. Remembering back to past raised beds that we've done, we have had success with using fill dirt and another medium mixed up to build that volume up in those raised beds and still get a successful vegetable harvest out of that bed. Just because it doesn't have the correct microbiology in it yet does not mean that we can't just make the change over the next year and improve the quality of the soil. So turning a waste into a win, this waste could be the exact thing that I need in terms of quantity of dirt, the volume of fill space, or whatever it is for a project next spring. What kind of ways can you turn waste products into a win for you in your own garden. Do you ever do landscaping? Is there places that you need to remodel in your yard because you want to put a new garden in? If so, try your best to keep your waste around just long enough that you can try and come up with another way of using it so that you don't have to buy something in the future. So today's waste into a win is going to be fill dirt. And I think I made this, I think I made this point already. Fill dirt's not cheap, but also it's very abundant. As soon as you start working on garden projects, you will find that this isn't a pretty abundant resource because, well, you usually have to make a little bit of changes in your lawn or in your yard to actually put in nice beds. So there, wonderful resource. Utilize it more. I know I harp on this a lot, and this isn't the first time I've actually made a similar video, but I gotta say it's really impactful. This idea, not just applied in this specific setting, but applied all across the board in a homestead setting or in an urban setting or in any setting. If you can make the switch in your mind to try and find ways to use things that you're going to throw away, it will be a cost savings and it will also just 
it will show so much more to you. It, it will open your eyes to see so many more things that you may have been missing in the first place. This is an area that I think a lot of us could grow in. I personally could grow in a lot. I think the more I do it, the more I see that I don't do it enough. And perhaps that's just the case for most areas of life. If you walk away with nothing else from this video, I hope you at least walk away with knowing that incremental change on a small level, extended over a long period of time, counts for a lot. And that doesn't mean that you have to store a massive pile of fill dirt on your lawn for future garden projects. But what it could look like is taking some of your daily food waste and throwing it into a compost bag and either finding a friend who composts who would love that material or finding a co-op compost near you that would be happy to regularly take or pick up or receive a drop off of food waste. So there's my pitch for composting. Do it. It might not be super easy to make the change all at once, but you will turn that waste product into a win in many different levels. And that's usually what this is all about. So you'd be surprised at how many ways saving one piece of trash or waste or byproduct and using it in the future. You'd be surprised at how many things that that affects. Or maybe I should say you will never know the full extent to how much that affects the system as a whole. And on that note, thanks for coming by. And as always, grow on.